Hey guys, so here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Filtermaster, new recording week. Uh, it's Monday to date the video, the 5th of August. How the hell is it already August, by the way? Uh, but yeah, we are playing Vex and we are going to continue with the education and try to be as positive as possible. Uh, massive thanks also to people who, you know, have given me feedback saying this is this is what we want. This is it. So I appreciate that. Uh, just reminding every, everybody that... Um, I've already been doing it over the last couple weekends. Uh, that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday's second videos would be going on Huzzy Extra. Uh, I think I'm going to be making the official swap for all second videos are going to be going on Huzzy Extra. Uh, maybe starting uh, Monday the 12th of August. So go get yourself subscribed over there uh, to keep up to date with all videos. But anyway, uh, Loda Maduda. We have a one-trick Aatrox band out as he's playing Kane. We've got... Oh, there's a few Smurfs in this game. Cogmore. I uh, got a one trick Senna running grass. Got an uh, one trick Akali mid lane, but I don't know if it's Ezreal mid or Akali mid. You can't really tell. There are people that are still clinging to play AD carries in lanes, even though Riot has kind of nerfed them out of solo lanes. But um, by this, it's Ezreal mid and Akali top. But. To be honest, Vex as a champion, so just to understand like the philosophy of Vex, so she actually got changed in development. Uh, and I will say, intern at Kybercorp. What a name. Thank you so much, my dude. Hi. That was weird. Um, what, that's a fantastic name. Nine months of Prime. Appreciate it massively. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this could be a remake. So they're all just waiting in that bush. Yeah, they, they definitely haven't nerfed AD carry hard enough. Like, nowhere near hard enough to kind of really get rid of the, the pain. You know, literally in Challenger games, there's been six AD carries in games. Uh, and some there's be even been examples of eight AD carries. And if you're like, eight? Yeah. There's been two AD carries top lane, two in jungle, if you count Kindred and Graves, two in mid, and two in bot. There's been eight AD carries in matches. So again, can't really fight him. Look how much damage that is. It's crazy amount of damage. Uh, he's got PTA, and that, that is just such an inflated early game rune right now. They kind of overbuffed its early game, um, in essence. So you've got to be incredibly careful. So again, just reminding, the class of AD carry is supposed to be a late game hyper carry class. Ezra was not a lane bully champion by nature, but this is why people are playing these in mid, because there's nothing much a mage can do at all in the early game. But it also, mages are pretty damn weak. And have been kept weak for a very long time. So it's a bit of that as well. So what are we <laughs> That's a bit cocky though. To be honest, a lot of my experience with people that are playing like Ezreal mid and stuff, they are getting really cocky with their play. They usually overplay. And overplay usually ends you in trouble. Uh, but yeah, just going back to what Vex is. So Vex in her design was supposed to be an artillery mage, believe it or not. Uh, Raging Dragon 20, thank you very much, dude, for the 43 months of Prime. Yeah, she was supposed to be an artillery mage. And I'm not kidding. So he, whenever Vex was released, mages have not been that good since that point. And they changed her development from being an artillery mage to what she is now, basically an assassin mage, because they knew the, the, how the game is nowadays. Mages aren't very good. So they literally just changed how this champion is. God, he's so bad. <laughs> As I told you guys, they overplay. They constantly, constantly overplay. Because they're, the champs are overpowered, they always overplay what they should be doing. If he just laned normally, bullied me, bullied me, bullied me, he'd probably be fine. But because he went really crazy going, no, I'm going to try and kill you near your own tower, he's dead. He's coming here to try and stop me basing. What? He's just built the wave up so that push really quick. That's a bit weird. Uh, well, Momo, 25 months of Prime. Thank you very much. Um, so there's Diana. I'm hoping I get that cannon. No, I don't think I do. All my minions have gone on it. That's fine. Yeah. 
So I have to be a bit careful of a Diana gank. I don't know. Did Kindred do our own red or did Diana steal the red? There's the Diana. I did ping the Kindred that that was likely going to happen. Again, never fight an auto attack wall with an AD carry. You're just going to get killed. Their auto attack damage obviously is a lot higher than everybody else's in the game. Auto. He's getting quite low again. Let's try to keep hitting our poke. Obviously, his poke, he's just going to try and cue me down. Well, I went all in then because my cane was coming, so that gave me confidence, but I can just kill the Ezreal by myself. Well, Enoch's Legacy. Thank you so much, dude. Um, says, hello, husband chat. Hope everyone had a good weekend. I had a decent weekend, for sure. So, Later. basically what I would say is, if you're like me, you know, I didn't know I was against an Ezreal, by the way, so picking Vex. I, I more picked Vex because, one, she's actually okay right now, eventually. Her lane phase is definitely a bit weak. But she was good against both Akali and Diana because both of them have got mobility things. So if I was against either of them, I'm okay against them. And then hilariously, this guy picks a pick that also Vex is okay against because every time he uses E, it's triggering my passive. And then I'm hoping that I'll be eventually be able to, nice, I'll be able to just one shot the Ezreal is the hope. You know, the fundamental weakness of AD carry is still they can get one shot. And that should always be their weakness. If ever Riot over buffs... If, if Riot ever over buffs AD carries that they're tanky enough to survive getting one shot, then the class is truly overpowered. Because that is their weakness. It should always be their weakness. Uh, Java Boy, 46 months tier one. So what I'm looking is to have an okay lane phase. And in theory, I shouldn't really win this lane phase. So the fact that he's one and three, I'm two and oh, I'm about to overtake him in farm. It says a lot about this Ezreal. And one thing is worth knowing, and this is just a lesson in league of legends as a whole basically you know like i don't know how you'd call it the the popular picks of the time especially those are technically out of role a lot of players are playing them have no idea how to play those champions just fundamentally they're picking them up because they know oh they're really strong um i'm gonna play that but they don't really know how to play them like they, they haven't learned how to play these picks oh we could have fought that no Still eing forward. This guy's crazy. Whereas the top lane difference is astronomically huge. And I don't know why this guy's playing Kane top. That just seems a bit of a troll pick, to be honest. But we'll do what we can. But he still out trades me. Jesus. His damage is so high. Uh, Tosa Trolley, 51 months of Prime. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Carly's building AD, which I just noticed. That's a bit weird. <laughs> yeah, bot lane has started to win really hard. Its damage is just out of this world. So both jungle and top are getting absolutely decimated. The Akali's winning in 2v1. That's not ideal. A fed Akali is always a scary prospect. We do have a Cogmore, who's obviously an absolute beast late game hyper carry, but... Again, AD carry's weaknesses are getting one shot. Akali can one shot things, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, you can still see the trading power of uh, the Ezreal by far is is too strong for me to deal with it's that simple i can't even like outplay him you need to ult oh that was close you, i think he might still I, say, I think he might still be dead i didn't expect him to try and escape outside the tower side didn't see that coming i think on first item i'll be in a lot of a better place to try and one-shot the ezreal 
Hogmore, by the way, won't mind dying. He really won't. He's a hyper carry that if you just give him early kills, he doesn't care. Caitlyn's not a hyper carry. Also, what the heck? Senna's ignoring that she's a support? Like, what is she buying? Zeal. Trading power is just insane. I can't get close to trading evenly. Even if I hit basically everything, I still lose the fight. That's what I was looking for. If he goes for tower, I might look for an ultimate. Get off me thing. Thank you. Do they actually go to eat one of them? Nice. So I went for an ult on the Ezreal again. You can see my damage was good. Not enough for a kill. Ooh, it is. Maybe if you stay, though. You're actually staying. It's crazy that he's actually staying. Oh, I missed that Q. Balls. Good luck, Kane. The Kane obviously is really suck in this game, so he's abandoning top lane, which if he doesn't get a kill, it's actually worse. Like, it'd be better if he stayed top. Because if he goes through a roam, he, he's teleported back. But if he goes through a roam, doesn't get anything, then he's actually losing more, obviously. Ugh, that's one of those that you shouldn't even barrier. Just accept the death. Oh, God, you don't win that fight, do you? Kane? Easy kill for you, bud. No? How is that not a kill for Kane? Kane just let her live. What? How would have we... What? Why did he... Uh, I don't know. What the heck? Eclipse Akali. I have never seen that before. So again, fighting. Oh, there, and there's the Akali. Oh, go! Oh, that heal. So this is going to be the problem, right? So better top lane players don't just go, oh, I've won top lane. I'm just going to stay top and split push the entire game. That bad top laners do that. We showed that in the Darius game. That's how you carry from top. This Akali is annihilated, kind of a stupid pick of Kane, and now she's getting involved, and she can deal with a cog. So. Yeah, I, again, he. I think he was, was he a one trick Aatrox player, and obviously he's been like banned out. I don't know why Kane top lane would be your backup pick. That's a bit weird. The enemy team is all six. Do they have all six? Yeah, they've got all six of the void thingy buff, which is again, it's annoying. Oh, Kane's dead again. So again, this series, I will say, is highlighting a lot of people like this Kane exist. We're having a lot of teammates that are just very heavy. You can carry them. It's just really difficult. And I would say, fundamentally, the, one of the best ways to carry these type of players, and it's it goes down to the pick you're playing. And this is kind of the sucky thing, because if you're not a type of player that wants to play the type of pick you need to play, well, it's kind of tough luck. But the way that you have to... The, what you have to do, in essence, to beat, or basically beat your own teammates who are playing terrible, is being a hyper carry. It's that simple. There's not really any other way around about it. Hyper carries have the chance to carry bad situations, but if you're a player that likes to play more team based and you're a bit more far back, yeah, well, I mean, by just picking that pick in general, you're kind of giving, getting rid of your carry potential, as it were. So a couple things going well. I think Kindred, again, I've always had the philosophy that you don't always abandon, like, a lane. Nice. You don't always abandon a losing lane, but this Kane pick, I think, is just going to be useless, like, unfortunately. I think he's just not going to do anything. So I do actually think it is correct of Kindred. And actually left the kill. Again, that might be him men mentally going, I'm not that going to be useful this game, so I will 
just concede the kill so my team can carry. Which is not a terrible philosophy. Death is the true of life. If he truly does not have the confidence, then yeah. He rushed more Mount Mortius. Jeez. So rushing more has never been the most cost effective item. And that arguably will be making him a little bit weaker than he could be if he just went more standard. But obviously what he's probably thinking is I'm 0-4, I'm kind of useless, I just need to stop dying. And will more help him not... Runan's Hurricane Rush. What the heck? Well, that's a bit peculiar. Does Senna even buy Runan? I don't even know if Senna buys Runan. So one thing I will say is I did notice the Karma's build. No, don't get me wrong. They're doing very well in bot lane and they're kind of snowballing. So maybe you can forgive it. But she's not going supporty, supporty Karma. She's going AP Karma. Now, don't get me wrong. Her shields are still going to be okay and they're going to be decent. But this is the type of game when you've got a 15, 13 kill Cogmore potentially going the shield build of making your shields really powerful may be better because you're, you're in essence oh the enemy team just surrendered oh my god wow the only way that i feel well ah oh, dude i don't even know the only way that i feel that they must have like conceded well to be fair the only one that was doing well on the enemy team was the akali i just noticed because we beat the ezreal uh diana actually wasn't doing that well um, no, Caitlyn ran mid lane. I, I'm, I'm surprised. My only thing I was going to say, like, old man English in the chat, I bet the Akali or someone was ragey. Jeez, like, my damage is so low because we just weren't in the game yet. And again, that's a very important lesson to know. It's not like we did bad. We were 3 0 We're against an Ezreal. You guys saw how stupid high his damage was early. If I was just randomly just constantly fighting him, constantly fighting him, you're giving him the advantage. I was very calculated in when I was actually going on the Ezreal and I was only going in when I actually could do things. Otherwise, it's just wasting my own health because he was going to win every single trade. And eventually, with maybe two, three items, he's just an AD carry. I will end up beating him. I will end up being able to one-shot him. You just got to be calculated. That's how you basically beat these AD carry players that are playing mid. And as I mentioned, a lot of them, they overplay like mad, like this Ezreal did. Like I was literally saying the point and I think he overplayed straight away. And a lot of them aren't even good at these picks. They're just playing them because they're the OP thing right now. And that's that's basically another bad thing for them. It's a very strong pick. I do think, you know, Ezreal mid especially. Ezreal is a very cool champion. I've always loved that champion. He's one of my best AD carries. But I've always said to people, don't play him. Because, like, to, to really pull him off, you need to be very good at that champion. And most people aren't. But in mid lane, hilariously, is probably where he's best at at the moment because he can just bully mages that don't have any trading power early. That's kind of the point. Uh, but I guess the enemy team, you know, there's a very fed Cog Cogmore. It's a strong karma. And I guess they just concede is like, we're not going to kill him. They went for a play just then. I think uh, the Akali, their most fed person, died. We'll say her build is a bit weird. Uh, I don't know if that's the... Uh... I don't know if that's the best build that she could have done. Maybe it's a more top lane build, but I've never seen a uh, Eclipse build on an Akali. And that's a very true point. In Champ Select, one of my teammates was raging out saying their last mid laner was 0 10 0. And they said, if I go better than 0 10 1, I'd get an honor. I went 3 0 0. Where's me honor? Anyway, um, we'll do Loldal because obviously this was actually the first game of the day, but it was also very quick. But. Yeah, obviously that that uh, Kane top lane pick, that seemed awful. So uh, yeah, he's a... Oh, wow, he's a big one trick. Oh my god. Sorry, I just looked at his stats. He's a good a Aatrox player-ish. So he's got 392 games of Aatrox with a nearly 55% win rate. It's pretty good. His next champion is hilariously Kane with 34 games of Kane. And presumably he only picks that when Aatrox is banned or taken. 34 games of Kane, 26% win rate. It just looks like an absolutely useless pick. Jesus. When top lane is so much about, like, strength of trades, Kane, before his form, is has no strength. So you're basically, the whole lane phase, conceding every single trade in top lane. That's really bad. Anyway, let's play our Loldal. Um, give me a second, there and there, there we go. 
but at least we get our, our start to the week is a nice win um we'll go oh wait no i played vex so we'll put vex oh my god when the first two were correct i was like i've got it no a lot right though female mid correct correct not a yordle but mana and range correct correct so it's it's a mid lane mage of sorts so let's go syndra and obviously older than vex okay so no type of human but is from ionia or oh, what Hmm. Hmm. A female Ionian mage. Well, it might not be a mage, but it's a mid laner with mana. Oh, is it Ari? Because she's a Stein. Oh, then we got it. Hey, good job. Quiet yourselves, the world ender is here. That must be a quote about someone. That might like a vote, like a vo Oh, okay, no, that makes sense. The whole chat, Aatrox. I was trying to think, like, what champion would say that about themselves? Aatrox, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's the one champion that probably would. Oh, gee, I wonder. It's literally Viego's sword. Blade of the Ruined King. Oh, balls, that's his Q? Okay, I thought it was his passive. Which emojis describe squid? Squid? Am I dumb? We have a squid champion in League? Oh, Alawi? Or Velkoz? Oh, it could be one of these two. Oh, Alawi. She's a priestess. No, it's not a, gla a glass of Guinness. It's a, it's, a, it's a glass of Rattler, but it's got iced coffee in it. Wait, is that Vex? Oh my god, we just played Vex and we got Vex as our uh, thingy. There you go. There we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed episode one of today. Bit of a fiesta game in general. Um, but nice to get the win. And hopefully this actually shows you how to play against AD carries in mid. And some people are like, oh, you just kind of played a bit wimpy. Yes, exactly. Like, you guys saw every single fight. When he was auto-attacking me, what did you see me do? I was just running away. I'm not going to win that fight as a mage in the early game. His auto attacks, him just literally right clicking on me, does more than I can do back. So what's the point taking that fight? There's none. The only way that I went around beating this Ezreal was one, outplaying him, and two, well, three. there's three points, outplaying him, two, waiting for him to outplay himself, because he did that a couple times, and three, actually going in at the right time. Like, don't just randomly go in. You have to go in at the right time. The amount of strength that they've got in the early game against mages is just too hard to just no brain. I'm just going to fight you all the time. You're not going to win that. So be smart about it. So that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, do throw a like on it. Throw a comment, throw a subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down the reckoning to bring back hope and peace. Restore our glory. Regime, I know how to unleash eternal.